Good morning, everybody. I'm Josh Ellsworth, and welcome to our live educational event called Making It Together, weekdays in March at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We want to welcome uh, our audience back. If you watched our session yesterday, we had a great turnout. Uh, we actually had folks watching all over the U.S., from Canada, uh, even from Europe and Africa. So hopefully some of you are joining. Again, make sure you shout out uh, exactly who you are and where you're watching from. We love seeing uh, people watching uh, from all over the, the world, really. And so the purpose of this event is to take a positive reaction to what's going on in our world and be able to better equip you as a business owner uh, to be able to use this time to work uh, really on the business rather than in the business because as we're hearing all over the U.S. certainly, orders are slowing down and people are having challenges really growing their business, getting cancellations, things like that. So it's a perfect time to take a step back and say, how can I come out of this stronger than ever before? And our goal is to provide educational content and really a friend along the journey uh, to be able to answer your questions, offer advice, um, and have conversations around what we can do better uh, as an industry. So today we have uh, some exciting content, I think. So I guess let me talk about yesterday first in case you missed that. Uh, yesterday we opened up with a project where we decorated an umbrella and showed you how to uh, be able to decorate unique items on your heat press. That's one of the biggest benefits of a heat press is you can print all sorts of items, fabrics, locations. So we started with that and we're able to talk a bit about how to generate sales opportunities with these unique items. And the example we gave is you could use these umbrellas that are customized, drum up business perhaps at local car dealerships, not only for the salespeople, but as a promotional product when they sell the car, include the umbrella, the hat, the polo, or whatever the package may be with the same logo, and get those, um, that business uh, flowing through. We also spent a fair amount of time uh, in the show talking about creating a sales process that marries up to the buyer journey for your particular market. And we talked about some of the advantages of that being uh, increased conversion rates um, and also knowing exactly where the ball is on the field, where the buyer is in their journey. So rather than trying to always go for the close, say yes to the sale, you can move them to the next stage along the journey uh, when they're not quite ready to buy to move them down the path to be ready to buy or, as we said, score that touchdown. So hopefully you've spent some time and thought around the sales process or at least around the buyer journey for your potential customers. If you didn't get a chance to watch that section, uh, we spent a fair amount of time on it. I'd recommend going and watching the recording. They're all um, under our stalls, all things heat printing page uh, on Facebook or Heat Press for Profit group on Facebook as well. And then we closed off uh, that session uh, doing another project with our stretch litho mat product and we showed you a concept to perhaps sell on etsy or one of these third-party marketplaces uh, with uh, customized onesies and baby bibs and children's apparel items uh, from one month of age all the way to one year of age and be able to connect to that family and sell a product every month through that first year of life and then hopefully create a, a customer for life so there were lots of questions that came in throughout. I would encourage uh, questions as well today. Um, that's part of the fun for me as I get to interact with you folks uh, from Canada. Welcome back, Mike. Uh, welcome, Ramona from Dallas, Grace from uh, Frisco, Texas, and Melody from Ontario, Canada. I uh, got Pam from Kansas watching. Uh, Texas is a hot place today. Welcome, Chanel. Arthur from, looks like, Southern California. Uh, Stephanie from Wisconsin. Carolyn from North Carolina. Michelle back from Iowa again. Welcome back. Kristen from Oklahoma. And it goes on and on and on. So make sure you shout out who you are, where you're watching from. And for those of you that attended yesterday, we have this survey link that's up. We're going to flash the link up again now. You can go online and you can complete uh, the survey at the link you see on the screen. And the goal of that is you only need to complete it once. Um, you'll be entered into a daily giveaway. It's four questions. Uh, one of those requires a lot of answers. It's your contact information um, because when you win the giveaway, we need to know where to ship the stuff to. Um, but also, it helps to guide the content for our future classes. So believe it or not, we have some ideas swirling in our head, but we don't have the content planned out for every day. Uh, we're taking it day by day based on your feedback, based on your responses, and, help, and letting you help to guide uh, the content that's helpful to your business. So uh, we received a fair amount of responses yesterday, not as many as people that watch. So I would encourage you, if you didn't fill that out, make sure you fill it out. 
And we're going to draw for um, our giveaway a little bit later in the show from this stack of uh, responses. I've also read them all personally, um, and we'll be incorporating some of that content even today uh, as we go through. So I'd encourage you to visit the link that flashed up on the screen, complete the survey, and we'll be good to go. So since this is called Making It Together, uh, let's start with a project and make something together. We're going to head over to uh, the heat press, the Hotronics Auto Clam. So uh, we have our heat press loaded. Normally it's with a 16 by 20 inch platen. We have it loaded with our 11 by 15 inch platen. One of the things we spoke about yesterday and in general you should know as a heat printer is we need to get a completely flat pressing area because that is going to allow the heat press to deliver accurate pressure. Uh, believe it or not, 80% of failed application uh, issues that we hear over the phone are due to a pressure issue. And usually it's a user error with not getting that item flat. So when you're looking to invest in a heat press or once you have a heat press and you're looking to print different items, getting that item flat, that means rid of uh, buttons, seams, zippers, etc is extremely important. Otherwise, those raised areas on the press receive the pressure, your print doesn't, and we have a durability issue. And so the product that we're going to be applying today is from our Transfer Express marketing kit, which we'll be giving three of those marketing kits uh, away um, today. Um, this is one of the display samples that's included in the marketing kit. So for those of you who may not be familiar with what a screen printed transfer is, it is a great technology that we're seeing tremendous growth in, and the reason why um, are a couple. One, there's no cutting weeding, so if you're used to using heat transfer vinyl, uh, when you have to do like 35 or 50 designs, that's a lot of cutting and weeding of the same design. A screen printed transfer is a better way to do that. Also, the equipment investment is very easy. You just need a heat press and you're a screen printer. So no expensive screen printing equipment, or for those of you that have already made the investment into screen printing equipment, you don't necessarily have to have the skilled labor to run it, and you don't have to do all the work of setting up and tearing down for a mid-quantity job of, say, 35 pieces that may be a pain on your automatic screen printing press. So this screen printing, uh, screen printed transfers are a big deal to both small businesses and big businesses, and we're actually seeing more big businesses than ever um, go to something like this. Uh, the reason why is they're able to protect their inventory and do more of a, a print-on-demand scenario. So online sales are extremely important, um, and they have been, and they're even more important now. Um, and the idea that I can inventory these transfers and just print to order rather than pre-printing and sinking all of my cash into printed inventory is a big deal. For instance, if, you, um, if part of your business was uh, printing apparel uh, for occasions, and you pre-printed a lot of stuff for St. Patrick's Day today, um, odds are that you're going to be sitting on a lot of that inventory because a lot of the events didn't go off as planned because of all the restrictions we're feeling um, on gatherings. And so screen printed transfers, you would have at least been able to only lose your money on the transfer in that particular case, and you'd be able to, to save the cash on decorated shirts and use those green shirts for another opportunity on another day. So great for event printing, great for print on demand from e-commerce. Um, the cool thing about a screen printed transfer is I can fit as much as I possibly can on this sheet. So it's a little bit different than when you're burning a screen with screen printing and that you have to burn one screen for each uh, print location or design. In this case, I just gang it up and I can use those scissors uh, to separate my sheet. So let's go ahead and trim this one apart. I'm just gonna trim the dancers that we had on the side here off of the side. And we have our design, which is a dance-inspired design, plié, chassé, jeté, all day. And then it has the particular name of the dance school. Um, Joe's impressed with my pronunciation of the words. I got a thumbs up from that. So <laughs> I have a daughter that dances, so I'm a little bit familiar. So this one says Bradley Dance School. Here's the concept I want to deliver to you um, as we're doing this for those that are familiar with screen printed transfers. Think about this. This is a general design. That saying could appeal to any dancer. Um, at any dance school. And so what I would encourage you to do is think about how can I separate this design component, the customization, which is specific to Bradley Dance School, from the rest of the design. So it's very simple. One is I could gang up multiple dance school names if I'm marketing to say five dance schools or I'm going to a, a dance competition where I know these seven or eight schools are gonna be present. And then I can add that as a drop later. If you have a vinyl cutter, this is where it makes a lot of sense. You don't have to have this at all. You can walk with this stock design, and then you can cut the dance school personalization for whatever the kid, the parent wants, 
that walks up or that types into your website. In this case, we're going to just print it as is, and I'm going to let you or let somebody pick the shirt. So I have a fringe uh, top from uh, Cavio. It's a uh, racerback style. So on this particular one, we can print the front with the design and we can add the little uh, ballet dancer on the back and show you how to do that placement. Or we can do this uh, crop top hoodie, which is a newer style that we've been sent in uh, from Boxercraft, uh, which is in black. So somebody's gonna respond and Joe's gonna either signal um, the fringe tank or the crop top. Whoever responds first, we'll just roll with it. Somebody respond, you gotta refresh. Hello, are you people out there? I know there's 43 of you watching at least. So, all right, I think our comments are delayed. So I'm gonna make the selection and we're gonna print the hoodie because it's a little chilly and it's a little rainy outside. And so what we did is we uh, attached our 11 by 15 platen. We rotated it uh, 90 degrees. So it's actually 15 by 11 on the press. That's one of the cool things. You can rotate it. And then we're gonna split our garment and load it on. Now, you want to be uh, printing screen printed transfers on a platen and not a pillow. You don't want to insert the pillow to print a screen printed transfers because you just can't achieve enough pressure uh, when you're printing it on a pillow. Um, and so in this case, we're going to load it. And this will be my first application of the day on this press. I have it booted up to um, 340 degrees. And I'm going to do just a preheat for a few seconds to warm up the base. Your first preheat should be a little more um, than your subsequent preheats because you just want to warm up that base of that platen uh, in addition to the shirt uh, when you're doing this. Next, I'm going to take my transfer, which has been screen printed in a mirror image, so all the work's done for me, and I'm just going to flip it over, position it into place. I can see the lettering a little bit um, through, the, through the sheet. Um, a nice tip is you can also fold the transfer back to back to create a centering line. If you're gonna be doing a lot of these, that's helpful. Position it down into place, and then I'm gonna lock it down. Never use a cover sheet with your standard screen printed transfers, only with the stretch litho screen printed transfer. So, also in my marketing kit, along with these display samples, I received uh, some application instructions, which I have posted on the wall. We'll give you a look at that. So you can see this wall graphic of application instructions comes with this. So if I look at my pearl prints, which is about uh, the eighth down, it says 340 degrees, 10 seconds, a medium pressure, and it's a cold peel. So again, I'm going to remove the shirt from the press. I'm going to lay it over on the table, and I'm going to let it cool completely down uh, before I peel the backing. Now while we're waiting for that to cool, I'm going to go ahead, let me make sure I get the right thing on my screen here. And I'm going to pull up uh, Transfer Express's website and Easy View Designer to walk you uh, through how to create designs like this and order transfers. <laughs> I like Jerry's comment. When I grow up, I hope to buy a Stalls press. So just, just make the move, Jerry. Uh, we can help you out with that. We'll, we'll be announcing some show specials um, later in the week for our live educational event. So if you're on the fence on those, hopefully we can help you out. So, um, TransferExpress.com is our screen printed transfer uh, website company. And so there's all kinds of transfers in there. Um, this marketing kit that I'm talking about, you go right to the marketing tools. And I'll walk through exactly what's in that here in a little bit. And you can go to the Easy Prints marketing kit. And we basically call it your t shirt business in a box. Uh, it costs $49. You can watch a video on what's included. Um, all of these samples that I'm applying are included. Uh, in the marketing kit. So there's a uh, 30 display samples that you see here, which is great for getting a variety of designs for a variety of markets. So you can try different ink formulas and actually create sales samples to go out and sell it. Now with the marketing kit, you also get access to what's called the Easy View online designer inside of Transfer Express. So if you have a Transfer Express account and you're ordering uh, somewhat regularly, you have ability to go into this designer. And so what you see here is my take on this gang sheet. So rather than just doing the, um, the lettering and the dancers, what I've done is added some different dance school names. And so it's free space. I'm not going to use that uh, print space anyway. Um, so what I'm doing here is uh, putting sample dance school, sample dance academy, etc. So if I know the folks that are going to be at the event, I can use that space to create those. I can trim those apart and I can just drop those in uh, with my normal design or place it somewhere on the shirt. 
The other thing that I want to note is where you have these dancers, um, that's free space. So I can group these up as much as I want. I can click add clip art um, and you can drop uh, pieces of clip art and as long as it's in the same color and you're will willing to use those scissors uh, to trim around it, I can, I can get it for the same price. And so I like to call this free money. Yeah, it's sunk cost, you're buying the transfer sheet anyways. So something like this, um, that's a design that over onto the left it says is four by two inches, uh, that's a great placement for a sleeve or for the hood or just this extra element. And I can charge a customer another maybe three to five dollars to add one of these elements uh, to their shirts as long as I can illustrate that on the website. And I'm gonna have it anyways with the cost of my transfer sheet. So I love that particular capability of the Transfer Express website with being able to gang sheet for the same price. So I want to walk this uh, through from scratch. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. I'm just going to delete all this. Basically, when you log into the designer, the number one thing to do is work with the layouts. You can all obviously upload your artwork and create from scratch. Um, but if you want to operate from the layouts, you can look in the idea book that Transfer Express provides. You can look at the best sellers. Um, select whatever it is that you want to customize, and then once it's in the designer, you can click on the individual uh, text elements and uh, be able to customize those. So if I want this to be, instead of marching band, we can have it be uh, musical theater. Um, move stuff around, you can see it automatically clips it for you. I can change the school name uh, to whatever it is I wanted it to be, so let's make this one AGHS. Um, be able to maneuver that around, uh, size every element up so it looks good, change fonts. So basically we're giving you a tool to design and build from scratch. So if designing is not one of your core competencies, you don't have a graphic design degree, you don't understand Corel or Illustrator, this is a great way that you can become an artist just by spending the $49 to buy a marketing kit. And really it is a business in the box, you get all of these tools. Again, you can uh, change all of your colors. We have all of our ink colors. So if I wanted to change um, the particular color, you can see the pearl print colors are displaying because that's what I have selected on the right. But if I wanted to change my formula to, let's say, our standard goof proof, and I'll walk you through the formulas as well in a bit, you can click now and it opens up all of the colors that are available in goof proof. So you're able to customize that, create your design, get a live quote, see that's at 100 pieces, it's gonna cost me $1.60 to a sheet, uh, place my order and get it really uh, fast. So would never want to cut and weed all of that. There's a lot of steps, so you get a lot of uh, a lot of advantages here with screen printed transfers. So uh, I've talked enough. This design is cooled down. So let's go ahead and uh, peel the backing away from it. So this is our pearl prints, and I'm going to have you come in and get a close look. You can see how it has the little bit of a sheen to it. Um, this is the copper color. So take a second for the camera to adjust. It looks really sharp, and you'll have to believe me because you can't feel through the camera, but this feels great um, on the garment. It's super soft uh, when it's been applied. So um, that's called Pearl Prints. It's one of those products from Transfer Express, and it's a screen printed transfer. So I wanted to give you some ideas around that project. So let me take a look at uh, some questions really quickly and clear some of my space. So uh, Mary asked a question, can you use the pl power platens for screen printed transfers on polyester garments? So for those of you that may not know what any of that means, I want to kind of start from scratch. So decorating polyester can be a challenge because under heat, it leaves a scorch mark. And so we've created specific transfers that apply at lower temperatures for polyester garments. A good example of that would be our Elasti prints uh, transfers. They apply at 300 degrees instead of 340 or 365, like some of our other ink formulas. Um, or Stretch Litho, which is a new product that we covered yesterday that applies at 275 degrees. Okay, and so by dropping that heat, sometimes you don't leave the scorch mark on the polyester and you get a good result. Now, some polyesters are just so heat sensitive that they scorch even at those temperatures um, and, you, and you leave that nasty heat press box that you don't want. So what we've done is we've come up with something called a power platen. Uh, this power platen attaches to your heat press just like the platen I just showed you, the lower base that we're printing on. It has a separate control board unit and it plugs into the wall and that bottom attachment actually heats up. And so now instead of just heat pressing from the top, 
I'm heat pressing from the top and the bottom, effectively creating a heat sandwich. By heat pressing from the bottom, I'm able to lower that top heat down tremendously to be able to apply. Now, it's kind of a hack, I would say, uh, but one that works well with certain products. So the spirit of Mary's question is, um, are there any screen printed transfer products that I can use with the power platen? And uh, the short answer is yes. Um, some of those products that I can remember off the top of my head are our water-based formulas, which are AquaTrue, and the upcoming UltraColor uh, that will be launched sometime this summer will work with that power platen. So we're constantly developing new products. I wouldn't recommend using uh, your standard ink formulas like GoofProof, uh, for instance, with the power platen, you won't have good results. Um, Transfer Express on their website, I'm going to look to see if I can find it really quick, has a recommended list. If I can find where the power platens are, I know I'll be able to find it. I'm going to guess accessories. There they are, power platens. And here we go. So I'll show you here on the, the list is uh, we have the info about the power platens here. Um, they're actually on sale through April 30th, uh, so you can get all the detail on transferexpress.com. And I can see that the, these application instructions will work for Stretch Litho, AquaTrue, ElastiPrints, and UltraColor. So those would be your compatible fabrics, and you can see the fabric blends um, that will work accordingly. And we are um, always working and testing these power platens to be able to drop those settings uh, and develop new materials uh, for them. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, any other questions that are popping there, Joe, that we can take a look at? Yeah, so thank you for the feedback, Jerry. The designer is very user-friendly. It is. Uh, it's one of our most popular things. Um, and then I like the design on your right side that says seniors. Um, how is that done? I always try to figure out when I'm on camera which way is my right and left. Um, so that particular design looks like it's done with uh, heat transfer vinyl. So somebody actually cut and uh, weeded all that. Um, I don't think you'd like that design if you were the one that had to weed it. Let me grab it off the wall and show you why. Actually, let's zoom in, Joe. This goes right along with uh, what we're getting ready to get into, so it's a good, good great question. So uh, the garment's really nice. This is a new style from Sandmar. I think Jenna's going to talk about it in one of our lives coming up. Um, it's this uh, mesh athletic feel um, with a little bit of a crop, uh, loose-fitting style. Um, the senior's design, I'm guessing she created in CADWorks Live, which is a free online design software. And she's used a combination of either Vegas or metallic gold fashion film with metallic silver uh, fashion film. Because the garment's white, you don't have to worry about temperatures and any scorching issues, with, which is one of the benefits of decorating garments that are white, usually as they don't scorch. Um, and you get that nice sort of reflective sheen coming off of it because of the metallic. Now, the challenge that I don't like about this one is Jenna had to weed every single piece that is reversed out of here. And so, I don't know, I'm just going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times six, 42 individual picks um, at a minimum. That's not counting, that's just in the silver layer. So, it does look really sharp. I think um, that helps into our conversation today because a, a question that um, Joe submitted, one of our first surveys um, that was filled out, um, Joe said, I need help with what to use when. I need to see you know, where things have went wrong and what are the mistakes and what am I going to run into. And so this would be a mistake to sell 150 of these to a graduating class. Um, I, for a one-off shirt, perfect. But for that, I think that would be tough. So, But a screen printed transfer would work perfectly here because you don't have to weed all this. And I could get it all in one piece just ready to apply. And I can get it in that pearl prints finish that we just went over or in a metallic ink style. Uh, you could also do it in a foil product. So really cool concept, looks beautiful. Um, when there's high detail and lots of weeding, that's when I would move from heat transfer vinyl, if you really want to make money at it, into uh, a screen printed transfer product. And there's some other factors there that we're going to go through. So thanks for the question. Um, I'm going to take a couple more questions and then I'm going to uh, jump in. So uh, Brian asked, will you guys offer stretch litho mat in rolls for customer to purchase? Um, unfortunately, on this one, uh, no. It's a, um, it's a proprietary process that combines digital printing uh, with screen printing. And so we call the category digital screen printed transfers. Um, so there's a lot of uh, equipment needed to accomplish it. Nothing you can do just on a, uh, just on a printer cutter. Okay, so that was our opening project. I'm going to dive into some uh, more stuff now. We're going to stick with my computer screen because uh, for the spirit of 
uh, Joe's question that was submitted is, um, how can we make you a capable and confident decorator with just a heat press? And so the, the reason I think capable and confident, those are real two very important words to me because uh, capable says, I understand what products I have access to and I can print any item that comes through my door. I can generate a lot of sales opportunities and I can do that job on my press. I have the right tools for the job. Confident is a big deal because it means I know I'm selecting the best possible material for the best possible finish for that garment and I'm taking not only the finish into consideration and knowing that it'll work, but the economics, and I need an easy way to do that because you can spend what seems like a lifetime learning and still always pick up something new from these videos, which is what I hear. So we need to, to simplify that uh, for you. And so my uh, eye-opening experience is I've been at stalls since, well, the late 90s, but full-time um, since 2002 um, in some sales capacity, management capacity, or another. And it took me until 2019, until the aha moment uh, came to me. And what I like to say is, it's kind of like an athlete, they say at some point in your career, the game slows down and you just see things uh, in a different way. So I was at an event in Arizona um, with a bunch of decorators. It was a small conference uh, with contract printers uh, that we were meeting with over the course of a day and a half, two days. And there was this moment when they were asking questions, I'm like, ah, finally, we got it. Um, and so I'm going to share that with you now. So first you need, need to understand what I call our technology stack. So I believe that with four core technologies, you can do nearly any job, 98% of the jobs that you need uh, to be able to grow your business. So briefly walk you through those technologies. One is heat transfer vinyl. This is loading vinyl onto a vinyl cutter. Uh, with the growth of craft cutters, everybody's familiar with this process, and there's probably more people doing this than ever before um, right now. Um, this is great if I have, uh, there's a variety of finishes and effects. So we see glitters and reflectives and holograms and cool things like that. It's great for personalization, as I mentioned at the top of the show. I can do as little as one. I can cut on demand. I can do names and numbers, monograms, quantities of six, no big deal. And it's on demand. Literally, you come up to me with your name, your school, your business, I can create it and in a matter of five minutes have it onto the garment. Um, the weaknesses, as we just talked about, it's not ex ex ideal for extremely fine detail or I'll add to that where there's a lot of weeding because of uh, cavities that we're seeing in the design. Um, there's little economies of scale, which means um, it's gonna cost me the same amount to do one as it would cost me uh, to do 100 um, or 1 million for that matter, a little bit of cost savings. And then lastly, um, there are additional colors that require cost and labor. So if you want to layer things, um, it's going to just duplicate labor. I saw a question on the Facebook group earlier this week. Um, should I charge more for a three-color design? Well, if you're using heat transfer vinyl, absolutely, because it's going to cost you a lot more to make than a one-color design. So that's heat transfer vinyl in our technology stack. The next product that I like to go through is screen printed transfers. And the reason why is it has some similarities um, in that it's good for spot color designs or relatively low quantity or low color um, count designs because I need to burn a screen for every color even when we're making the transfer for you. So the advantages are it's number one identified finish. Everybody says they want screen printing. It's what you see in retail stores. Great for high detail. So there's really not a whole lot of restrictions there and you don't have to weed it. Um, you do get a cost reduction with quantity because once I've paid for that screen, um, as quantity goes up, the cost of the screen uh, gets spread across a higher quantity of pieces, dropping the price. Um, but it's not good for small quantities. That's some of the weaknesses. It has a smaller range of effects. And the standard screen printed transfer has limitations for full color. It's going to start to get costly as you get three or four colors. So heat transfer vinyl screen printed transfers. I know people that have built great, thriving, profitable businesses with just those two technologies. Next is digital transfers. So the advantage of digital transfers is that um, I call it print cut heat transfer vinyl is the best way to um, say it. Uh, it's going to have a lot of the same advantages that we talked about the single color heat transfer vinyl, but the, the difference you'll see is point number four on the advantages. It's unlimited colors and gradients without cost. So the idea that now I'm printing on a white vinyl, then cutting it, then weeding it, helps me be able to do unlimited colors, and it also helps me to not have to um, weed multiple colors. So it pulls down your labor cost 
uh, tremendously once you start to get about three colors or more. Now, the weakness is, is if you do a big badge design like we see on the backpack that you see there, and I put that full front on the front of a t-shirt, like anything else, it's gonna feel heavy. So I need to create um, space in my design. Uh, that kind of happens naturally with heat transfer vinyl because you never just put a big blob on there, but something about print cut with what you can do, uh, a lot of folks design with these big blob designs that feel not very nice um, on t-shirts and garments. All right, the last one, uh, which is the newest technology that I was mentioning is this digital screen printed transfers. Um, I'll call this one the bee's knees in my opinion. Um, this gives you a simplified workflow. I can get the advantage of having it made for me and not have the uh, in-house labor. Um, I can do the high detail that screen printed transfers offer. I can get savings when I go up in the quantity. Um, and then of course you can get all of the uh, color because we have the digital process. So it gives you all of the benefits of the digital transfers combined with the screen printed transfers um, into one product. And again, smaller range of effects, it's basically one finish. It's just basic. Um, it feels great, but it's just basic and it's not really ideal for less than 20 pieces. Okay, so I know that was, a, that was a lot and it was pretty quick, but I wanted you to have like, those are, in my mind, those are the four big things you need to know, decorating technology sets you need to know under this big umbrella that's heat printing. Yes, there's rhinestones. Yes, there's fabric designs. There's a lot of different things. But when you um, look at this, it helps to make um, life simpler. And so the aha moment was this. I'll show you on the screen now. Suspense. There it is. Uh, we are able to create this grid where basically that you don't really have to know all the ins and outs of the technology and manage multiple price grids because we've done that for you. Um, with this, you look at how many colors are in your design, which goes across the top, and how many quantity of garments of the same logo does the customer want. And by knowing those pieces of information, how many pieces they need, how many colors are in the design, I can get into the right bucket. Now I'm going to show you in a second, once you get into the bucket, um, there's, there's other choices at a level deeper. But to me, this is the first level you need to get to, uh, to, to be able to simplify it. And so we started uh, with this grid, and then we started to train people and said, let's look at some logos together. Here's a good example. This is about a six, seven color job, 75 pieces. So I'm gonna go around to the six plus colors, I'm gonna go to the 75 pieces, and I'm gonna end at the full color screen printed transfer, the digital screen printed transfer for this job. Now I take the same logo, and all of a sudden, people are saying, I can do that on my printer cutter. Yeah, but you can do it more cost effective at 75 pieces with full color screen printed transfers. But if that changes to 15 pieces, that was the only change was the quantity. Now that six colors at 15 pieces is going to put me into my digital uh, print cut transfers. Makes sense? I'm going to let you guys uh, do this one on your own. So here's the job. Single color gold design on a purple shirt, 15 pieces. Heat transfer vinyl is the correct answer. I'm going to cut this on my vinyl cutter if I have one. That's going to be the most cost effective way. Now let's take that same job and let's make it 50 pieces. One color, hopefully you're following along up in the top, one color down in 50 pieces. Your fingers should land on screen printed transfers. I'm going to order this as a standard screen printed transfer from Transfer Express. I'm going to show you one more and then I'm going to chart a little bit on the whiteboard for you. Two color design six pieces heat transfer vinyl. Yes, I can do this with print cut, but we'd say it would be most cost effective uh, in heat transfer vinyl. So this is the general rule. There is always going to be exceptions to the rule. For instance, if you need a specific Pantone color match, you're going to have to look at the technology that allows you to get that color match. If you're decorating for uh, Coca-Cola and you need that red color, um, Odds are you may not be able to achieve that with the heat transfer vinyl that's available in the line. It might not match the Pantone. So there's always going to be exceptions where you need to go into another box. But for those of you that are doing a lot of general jobs, don't have something really specific, this is going to be a tremendously helpful chart. And what we've done is our marketing people, they're really fancy and smart. And so they've created this wheel for you. So on this wheel, and I don't know if we can get a close-up of this, Joe. I'd like to show this one. Try 
try to get it without the glare. So I can see number of colors in my design. So I'm going to slide this wheel across the back. Right now I'm saying I have a four color design, sorry. Four color design at 200 pieces. Down in this bottom window here where I'm clicking my uh, finger, best transfer method is going to pop up. It's going to tell me full color screen printed transfers. And so you're able to slide this wheel to change the factors based on the number of colors in your design. You know, if it were a three color design, 12 pieces, quantity of garments, then you get print and cut digital transfer materials. So this basically takes the grid into effect. It gives you this helpful tool. And so I'm going to just come over to my book here and show you how I've organized my sample book and say maybe you guys should look at doing the same. So if you're making a sample book or even sample garments, I have my what to use when chart on here that simplifies it for me. And then I've taken my sample book and I've broken it down in those categories. So all of these pages are heat transfer vinyl. Come on. And so let's say I have a job that took me into the heat transfer vinyl category. Then I'm really going to get down into what vinyl do I need for the job. And so I know fashion film is my basic heat transfer vinyl. So I have a sample of fashion film. I have all the colors uh, ready to go. I have the sample. If I'm going on to a stretch fabric or something that's low temp, I'm going to pick premium plus as the formula. And I have all my colors and all my samples. If I'm going into athletic, I'm going to have thermofilm. So the point is, once you get into each bucket, you're going to have those uh, formula choices that you'll need to make. My next category is screen printed transfers. So Goof Proof is my standard screen printed transfer. That's going to be the product that I'm going to use for those jobs. Hot Split is another option, just a little bit softer feel on a screen printed transfer. Now Elasti Prints is a specialty. That's going to be my product for performance wear. We talked about low temp early on. So this book is organized in those groupings and with, from print cut to heat transfer vinyl to screen printed transfers to my full color digital screen printed transfers. And, uh, and so that gives you um, the concept. And I would recommend that you organize uh, your samples like that. So can't necessarily give the book um, to everybody, looking at the right camera, can't necessarily give the book to everybody, um, but it's a tool and an idea for how you can uh, set up your selection process. And so the last point I want to cover on this before we give away some marketing kits is I'm going to draw it up on the board here. working on it. All right, so you get into what I'll call your bucket, whatever that might be. And then once you get into that bucket, um, usually you have uh, a few core materials. You have what's a basic material. So a basic material is going to apply to all of your um, cotton polyester garments, um, etc. So in our heat transfer vinyl category, our basic material is going to be fashion film. Some people choose to use the performance material um, for their basics, but it's, this is going to be your standard in heat transfer vinyl. In, in screen printed transfer, my basic material is going to be goof proof. In print cut, my basic material is going to be express print. And then in digital screen printed transfers, Somebody suggested earlier we just use SLM for stretch litho mat. Um, that's going to be the choice. And so what I wanted to show you, once you get in that bucket, you're going to come in and you're going to say, hey, is it a basic fabric? Then I'm going to go to fashion film if it's heat transfer vinyl. Now, if it's a, a heat sensitive or stretch, then I'm going to have a different selection criteria. And heat transfer vinyl, that's where I'm going to go to my premium plus. In screen printed transfers, I'm going to go to my Elasti prints. Okay? And print cut, that's where I'm going to go to something like Super Tech, which is a stretch formula. And then in, in right now, Stretch Litho Mat is our only formula here in digital screen printed transfers, but we're developing and getting ready to launch something that's actually in the price guide and online called Ultra Color. And that will be my digital screen printed transfer for stretch. And so really, between basic, heat sensitive, and stretch, you should be able to cover most of your jobs. There will be your exceptions. Those exceptions are um, abrasion resistant, right? And that's where thermofilm comes into play. 
If you're going to be going on to football jerseys, it's going to be a special selection. If you're going on to nylon, you're just going to have to go to the product in whatever category you're in with the nylon adhesive. Um, and then there's also special effects. But I really think that if you understand this, um, you have the capability here with all the product selection. You just need to know what bucket do I need to be in? Um, do I need to be ordering from Stalls or Transfer Express? And what formula um, do I need to be in? So um, hopefully that gives you uh, a little bit of understanding. And so as far as the um, new marketing kit, I see we're getting some questions. Everybody always wants those binders. So what I'll do is I'll work with this uh, with our marketing team um, to see for those of you that are, that are interested in purchasing this binder, it's not something we have on stock to ship right away, but I think it is something that we could um, sell you. So if you're interested in something like that, just make sure you note uh, that you would be. Uh, naturally, there's a lot of time and money that goes into building it. All of our salespeople have them, um, so there would be a cost associated with it. You could certainly build your own through uh, sample t-shirts as well that are just stacked or on a hanger in a garment bag um, in that order, but if you're interested, just let me know. Um, some of the other questions is, uh, Jerry asks, is it the bucket on how you would set up your sample? So yeah, I set mine up in the bucket. So because that'll allow me instantly once I'm using this grid, ah, it says go to heat transfer vinyl. So I'm going to grab my heat transfer vinyl samples for the customer. We've select the right product. If you want a basic t-shirt, here's our fashion film. If you want to go something that's a little bit softer, a little bit more premium, here's premium plus. Or maybe you say, hey, here's the one we stock. This is what you need, right? The, the, the tighter you can dial that selection in for the customer, the easier it's going to be for them to say yes. But I just want you to have the knowledge that there is a product uh, and a choice for every job. Um, the presentation will certainly uh, make available uh, to you. So we'll be able to create a PDF and upload uh, the link to that in the show comments afterwards. Uh, again, if you're joining late, make sure you fill out the survey at SurveyMonkey um, that's flashing on the screen now, and you'll be entered to, into our giveaway that we're getting ready to do um, right now. So for the people that filled it out yesterday, I've randomly shuffled through these, um, and I'm just going to pick out a, um, three of these, and then we'll announce the name. So here's one. There's two. And there's three. And these will all stay here and together um, for tomorrow's, except for those of you that won, you won't be in tomorrow's. So we have, um, yeah, there we go. Um, Joe Magrino from Magrino Makes LLC. Um, you'll be getting a marketing kit uh, from Transfer Express. We'll email you a coupon to the email that you filled out uh, to fill out, and that will that way we can put your name that you want on the kit, and I'll show you what that means. Um, Mike from Northern Phoenix Apparel from Canada, congratulations, you got a marketing kit. And Anissa from Hartwood Apparel in Stoneboro, uh, PA. Congratulations, you get a marketing kit. We're going to give away uh, a few of those every day this week. Um, it's that $50 uh, value. And here's what it includes. It includes all of these display samples, which are 30 of the display samples. You can look at specifically what they are online, but they're all in here ready to apply with different designs to different fabrics. It includes our 2020 idea book. So this is a physical uh, full color copy of all of the artwork that's available from Transfer Express in all of these categories. It also includes uh, this idea book in black and white, which is a nice leave behind for customers. So they have a copy that you can let them borrow. You can also buy these by the case. Um, I just heard a great strategy the other day where we have customers that buy these by the case and they go and drop this off with a letter. Um, at their local schools or organizations and say, hey, here's our 2020 um, idea book. It doesn't have the uh, Transfer Express branding in it. It just says easyprints.com, which is a place they can view these designs online. Um, it has our wholesale uh, apparel guide, so all the blank apparel that's offered from Transfer Express. It has the uh, application wall graphic that I showed you earlier to put by your heat press. You know what everything applies at. It has these color selectors, so all the colors, the ink colors, so you have actual copies. Uh, from Transfer Express. It has a decal that says custom printed apparel that you can put on your uh, car window or the window of your store, whatever it may be. Um, and it also has a $10 off coupon and uh, make your first shirt sample, which includes the t-shirts, um, as well as some other goodies. So I think I covered most of that um, very quickly. We'll be reviewing it some of the other days because I know we're uh, coming up on our time here, and I want to make sure we get to another project. So those are available from TransferExpress.com. 
Um, that's the full marketing kit. It's a business in a box. It's going to give you samples in at least three of those four buckets we talked about. It's going to give you the screen printed transfer samples, the uh, digital print cut samples, um, and also the uh, digital screen printed transfers. The only one you're going to be missing is heat transfer vinyl. So if you have a vinyl cutter and you buy this marketing kit, you'll be able to take care of um, all four buckets with a transfer provider or what you can do um, in-house. Going to take a look and see if there's any questions. Yeah, congrats to the winners. Exciting. All right, good. So let's head back over to the heat press and we're going to do um, just a, one more uh, particular job. In this case, I'm going to use uh, a heat transfer vinyl product, and I tried to come up with something that's maybe lesser used uh, by most of you, um, but could be popular. And so this particular product is called uh, Thermofilm. We've just cut and weeded uh, a single color design, so this would be great uh, for a quantity of, say, 6, 12 pieces, something like that, for a team or for a group of fans. And in this case, we're going to apply it to this um, fan jersey that was donated to us from Sanmar. So yes, you can use glitter, all kinds of different materials on here. The reason we chose thermofilm is because sometimes you have an issue with uh, red, maroon, polyester garments, darker color polyesters, where they want to bleed through um, your design. And so I want to slow down for a second and talk about the challenge of dye migration. Um, this is one of those exceptions to the rule that we want to make sure we cover. If you have a garment that's going to want to bleed through your print, um, which is, could always be a risk if it's 100% polyester or a high polyester content, um, what that does, it'll take normally a white design, and on this garment it could turn it some shade of red or pink, uh, which becomes an issue. Those are the dyes bleeding out. So there's two ways to combat dye migration. Number one is you source a garment that's not going to bleed and you test it and you guarantee it. Sanmar addresses that through what they call uh, posi-charged garments from other suppliers. You may look for uh, this naming convention. It's called cationic polyester. That's C-A-T-I-O-N-I-C, cationic polyester. That means those dyes are locked in. It's manufactured at a little higher quality, and you're not going to have the bleeding issues. So if you source a garment like that, it's going to cost you a little bit more, but you'll be able to use the thinnest, softest vinyl you can find without worry um, of any bleeding. Now, if you source a garment and you don't want to pay that extra price, then you really need to address it on your ink or vinyl side, and I need to get a material that's not going to bleed. So a common misconception is that products that apply at a low temperature won't bleed. So the reality is, if I have a transfer that applies at 275, it's probably not going to bleed right away, but the, the dyes in that garment could activate when it's sitting in a hot window of a car, or when mom throws it through a dryer, um, it's going to heat up, and then it's going to have the likelihood to bleed while it's in your customer's hands, and I think that's really the worst case scenario. So if you're not going to source the more premium poly and test it, what I would recommend is going with something that either has a dye blocker or that's a little bit thicker on its formula. So screen printers would call it low bleed ink. A lot of them advertise low bleed white inks. So thermofilm would be our thicker heat transfer material that is uh, a low bleed type of formula. And so let me show you how to print this shirt. I'm going to go back to my 16 by 20 platen. Let's take this 11 by 15 inch off. You can see how quick and easy it is to change. I'm going to grab my 16 by 20. Drop it on. Thermofilm applies at 330 degrees for six to eight seconds. Going to preheat that base and also use this time to adjust my pressure. Since I switch platens, I always want to adjust the pressure. And then I'm going to be able to load that on. So again, I'm dealing with a mesh fabric so I can split and load it on. Um, if your heat press has threadability, you're getting the importance of that. If your heat press doesn't have the threadability, this is a great use for what we call a heat printing pillow. And so what I can also do is if you can't thread that shirt over the press, you can thread that shirt over a pillow. And so I'll thread it over the pillow to show you how easy that is. It takes a little bit more work and a little bit more fumbling. But if you don't have the threadability on your press, you can do this on the side, maybe even pre-thread it, have multiple pillows working. And then I'm going to preheat. Of course, the pillow impacts the pressure a little bit. 
It's that low density surface that I mentioned. So you're not going to want to apply screen printed transfers with a pillow, but a pillow is just fine for applying heat transfer vinyl products that just have a medium to a low pressure. Once it's loaded, I'm going to position my design. And then we're going to heat apply. Heat transfer vinyl typically doesn't need a cover sheet unless that vinyl is exposed directly to the heater. So the press will automatically open when it's finished. And then thermofilm is what we call a hot peel, which means I can come here and remove the carrier after it's done. So usually when I do this, I like to separate the film from the pillow right away. That way, um, this is a, coated with a non-stick material, so you're not going to get the adhesive uh, staying behind. It's very easy to wipe off and clean once you're done with the job. And then we have the um, completed result. And so uh, thermofilm again, thicker finish. You can see um, white stays white. Uh, on the thermofilm, we get good coverage of the uh, mesh holes. Nothing's clearing the holes in this particular case. Um, so it's a great product for your mesh fabrics, uh, your tough-to-do fabrics that may want to bleed. Um, heat transfer vinyl product, purchase it by the roll, uh, that's thermofilm. So I'm going to stop and take a look for any final questions before we wrap up uh, today. And again, I want to remind you of the survey. Sorry to keep harping on the survey, but it's really important that you fill it out because it helps me get ideas for what we're going to teach tomorrow or the next day. I already have some ideas from the previous surveys and it enters you into the giveaway. So while that's on the screen, let me look for some questions. So Mike is calling for a re-release of the Blueprint series. So if you're looking for something to do uh, and you want entertained, we have a series on our Stalls TV YouTube channel called The Blueprint. Um, and this is really a series where we go out and get hands-on and visit a shop um, and try to help them in their business, give them a blueprint on how to grow that business uh, into the future and give them a chance to, to share their ideas and give feedback. Uh, we have four episodes of that published. Part one was with a company called Moose's Enterprises out of North Central Pennsylvania. It was actually uh, two, two videos back to back. Um, our third episode, which was our second customer, was a company called Capswag who had a retail headwear store out of New Jersey that we were able to uh, sell a, um, a vinyl cutter to. Um, actually, we didn't sell the vinyl cutter, but we went in and trained on how to use the vinyl cutter and were able to kind of stand them up with that process. And then our fourth episode, uh, was local here in our Uniontown, Pennsylvania area with a company called The Bar Room that runs a retail dancewear store um, that invested into a heat press. So all, all of those are great watches and you can learn a lot as a beginner from those. Uh, to answer your question, Mike, um, the blueprint's always something I have on my radar. We don't have any specific visits planned, but I do want to uh, make sure we continue that series into the future. So if anybody's uh, interested in having their shop visited, and they're somewhat local to the southwestern Pennsylvania area and wants to raise their hand for us to come in and uh, video and learn from you, uh, let us know. We're always interested in that. All right. I think we are, I think we are good. So, um, again, this is called Making It Together. It's weekdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be coming to you with another hour, roughly an hour of uh, content tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, Make sure you uh, feel free to ask questions. If you're watching the episode back, we'll do our best to answer those uh, even after the show and share as many resources as possible to help you work on your business and grow your business into the future. Thanks for watching.